Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name's Vincent. Kristen. And Gabrielle. Uh, this is gonna be like our vlogmas video for today. Uh, we have a couple videos coming out like this. In this particular video, we're gonna review some new action figures that are recently out. Uh, just came out from a company in California. They are a hybrid human and animal, like the DNA's been crossed. Several animals. Several different animals, they got different kinds. So this is what the actual box will come and look like. Um, this is just one of the guys. And then it shows you the phase one creatures and then the phase two. Um, these are called alternations. This particular guy is called Quilljoy, or Quillroy, sorry. Uh, and each of these comes with a free um, e-graphic novel that you can go and read. I'm gonna pull it out, show it to you. We've got two of them here. These are kind of cool. They remind me of Small Soldiers. Is it Small Soldiers? Yeah. Yeah. Where it was the humans versus the Gorgons. These guys remind me of the Gorgons, and I think it's really awesome. So. We got these from Camden Battlegrounds in Kingsland, Georgia, and his Facebook page is where I first heard about these, and we got up there and kind of fell in love with them, and so we picked up a couple. In fact, Jordan wants them for uh, Christmas. Christmas, so if you're looking for something for a teenager, uh, a young teenager, or a young kid, these are kind of ideal. Um, they do have a lot of parts and stuff to them, so I'd say I wouldn't go too young. The guy I bought was this guy right here. Uh, this guy's name is Dart. Dart. And as you can see, he's like part human, part frog. He's got his little brown shorts on. So he looks kind of like a one of the poisonous frogs. He's a poison dart frog, a bull, a bull frog, and something else. Huh. I can't remember. I read the box because that's why he's so big. He's a bull frog. He's also painted like the poison dart frogs. Cool beans. So he comes with like this little like ballista. He comes with a boomerang. And again, he's got these long arms and legs. He's got like little. Those are just. Pus, yeah, they're like pus sacks, sack. poison sacks. These are actually squishy on him. And the rest of him's like a hard plastic. He's got like a little headset on him. Look how cute he looks. So, and supposedly he, let's see. How does this work? Supposedly he'll do a back flip. But again, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Let's see, is that it? Oh, oh Jesus. That is not. Back. Do what? Yeah, I think you gotta press his back. Press his back? Yeah. I feel like his legs need to cock. Okay, so I found out why having the actual bo Oh, I. Okay. You gotta press his back. Yeah. Let me get you down here. So basically you have to press on his back until his legs. Woo! Holy crap! <laughs> I'll show it to you up above a little bit. So basically you have to get his legs forward like this, set him on the ground, and <laughs> that's kind of neat. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like these little, I like that like parts of him are squishy versus other parts aren't. And of course he's got the long arms and stuff. All right, and so this is Quill Roy. Little headphones here. Speed. And so you can see based on the, the face and the ears, he's a bat. He's got like porcupine quills and stuff. And then he has a barbell flail that he can take out bad guys with. He also has this cool little compound bow. And then the compound bow comes with a few different uh, arrow types that just snap on. But his special ability is there's these little buttons on his shoulders. Oh, I need to push that one in all the way. And so the little, some of these quills out of his back shoot. Some of the quills out of his back <laughs> shoot, so. And then they just click right back in. So, I mean, not something for super little kids because there are some pieces that could get lost. 
but this was just something that was kind of like a little nostalgic for us because it was so much like the small heroes and the gorgons and stuff. It was even looking small at some soldiers. of the small soldiers, sorry. Um, so it's a lot of nostalgia there for us. So we were looking at some of the Phase Two stuff, and then, like I said, I know Jordan kind of fell in love with them and wanted them for Christmas. So thought that was kind so of neat. These are so there's this size, mm -hmm. which is five and a half inches, I believe he said. Right. Then there's a smaller one. They call them the mediums, right? These guys. Yeah, these are mediums. Yeah. They're the small, ones, and then there's larger ones coming out. In phase yeah, the two. Phase Two is going to have the larger ones. So the one Jordan got is like a cyborg or something yeah, he's just but he a can't he can't have it till christmas because it's his christmas present so we just want to show you these um because they weren't on my radar at all prior to um seeing them from camden battlegrounds uh facebook page and then getting up there to see them myself never seen them at all. yeah she had never heard of them so just you know wanted to get this out there give you a little bit of word kind of get altered nation um on people's radar as possible christmas gifts for their kids uh, they do have a website uh, that you can reach out and I believe you can buy them from them there or if you're in the Kingsland area or the Greater Jacksonville area you can make the trip up to Kingsland uh, to Camden Battlegrounds. It's a game shop up there. They sell board games, they sell old video games, they sell new video games, used, uh, games used video also. games, used board games, uh, older toys like oh, yeah. they had some He-Man's Masters of the Universe, the original, they had some Star Trek stuff, they sell Dungeons and Dragons dice, they sell LARP yeah. clothes. Dungeons and Dragons, right. magic. Yeah, they sell magic cards, Pokemon cards. There's, um, they have like different um, times and stuff that you can play different games. They'll have like Dungeons and Dragons going on, or it's a game um, store in the sense of all games. Right. Yeah, they're very like all games. Um, we actually met the shop owner at Amelia Con last year, and every time we go up there, he recognizes us and says, "Hey." So, and we, we only get up there very rarely because of the distance but I really love the shop owner. I think it's my favorite game shop um, because it feels so welcoming like he makes every person that comes in there feel like you're the only person that's there even though you can have a store full of people so it's very cool he all, he's always very friendly and interactive with the kids and stuff so uh, but yeah I just want to introduce you to the alternation um, toys these are really cool this is not a sponsored video or anything like that it's not sponsored by Camden Battlegrounds it's not sponsored by alternation however alternation if you'd like to send me some more of these to review I would be 100% okay with that um, because again, we're we think, play with them. yeah, we're gonna totally play with them. We think they're super cute. They're super, not super cute. We think they're super cool. They are cute. They look awesome. The designs are great, um, and the whole concept, like I said, is very nostalgic for us. So, um, alternation. So go check out their toys. Again, this is Kilroy and Dart. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, it was just like a, you know, we were talking about, oh, what kind of video are we going to do? I was like, well, you know, we have kids. Let's do some kind of recommendation video. Um, and I think tomorrow's video is going to be on board games and stuff, like stocking stuff for ideas for board games and stuff uh, that you can play as a family. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We love you guys. Till tomorrow.